Okay, duo jabs or counter duos. This was Vanderbilt's most successful running play on the entire season with a 69 nice rate of success on the season. Um, even though the dive variation of duos, which is more north and south, was more featured, this proved to be more consistent even though it averaged a mere 3.85 yards per play. Again, if you're going to run goal-to-goal uh, -goal types of carries with this type of look, naturally, it's going to bring down your yards per pop. That's why it was heavily inflated on um, later downs. But either way, like most of their duos, multi-tight end sets to the top of the screen. Why is it called a, a duo jab? Well, you're jabbing one way before heading the other. Some people call this counter duos because the backfield is actually taking counter steps but as opposed to having a trapper and a wrapper in terms of blockers the entire line is following their gap principle so that's gap on backer and if you have a chance to double team at the point of attack you absolutely will so on this play we're going to have our center and left guard double team you're going to have our right tackle and right guard double team you're going to have a double team from our t uh, tight ends and then you're going to have a seal there but again you're going to initially fake like you're going to one side before coming back the other that gives the double teams a beat to set up and win at the point of attack this is one of the better duo jabs from the season Again, with only a 3.85 yards per pop, there wasn't really an explosive gainer here. But we'll see here. Okay, so we got our wash down. What the back is trying to do is read A gap and out. So with the A gap, his eyes are on the linebacker. If the linebacker stays in the hole, which he does, comes downhill right away. Oh, crap. We're effed at the point of attack. He's then taught to bounce outside with everybody else washing down. Is basically one on one makes this guy miss and there we are off to the races so that it's very good execution from Keyshawn Vaughn again reading the point of attack it's it's gonna be stuffed and immediately try and bounce again gap plays are a little bit more rigid than zone plays though you do sometimes have an out and a second alley it's not as common as you would with zones and cutbacks but duo jabs very effective heavy set type of look complements inside zone slams very well because those are zones and these are powers, and they're basically designed to go to the same uh, gap, but it does take advantage if um, a backer is too advantageous or downhill to go outside if needs be. On both dives and duo jabs, the balls or the Commodores average at least seven yards per carry when bouncing outside. Of course, it was hinged by this big gainer here, but again, 69.2 of these ended in success.